Hey, ERA teammates! Let's welcome the latest member into the ERA family, Gabriel Quack, a national Singapore footballer and the man who makes all this happen. ta -da. Thank you, thank you. Kenji Wong, our Senior Divisions Director, who has taken Gabriel under his wing. I'm very curious to why this gentleman has decided to join the ERA family as a real estate agent and make that jump into this career? Actually, in 2014, back then, about eight, nine years ago, I actually took the RAS course. You know, I attempted it once, but unfortunately, I didn't make it. So it kind of like, you know, flew it and sailed away. But it was only 2019 where I tried it again. Uh, reason being because uh, along the years, uh, the interest started to grow. Right. I mean, of course, it's not another career. You know, football is still my first love. Uh, the job that pays me, my profession, you know, I'm a full-time, but mm. I mean, it's just a great alternative for me, you know, mm. uh, because the industry, I mean, the profession, I mean, yeah, it's wonderful, you know, doing something I love, it's, it's very unique, it's not like in the corporate world, uh, but having said that, it's definitely a short career. It was a very good time in the stage of my life at 26, 27, I started to thought of like, trying to venture into something, look into like my post-career. How do you get to know Kenji? Uh, we used to play football at a very young age. Uh, I think we were like 15, 16. Gabriel was a young kid back then. And through the years, we just kept in contact, you know, play football once in a while, meet up for a drink here and there. Um, but yeah, Gabriel is, the, I mean my, my impression of Gabriel as a young kid to today, the only constant is that he's a, he's a very sparkling conversationalist. So if I were to speak to him, if I was a random person to speak to him, he's able to bring forward this conversation. It seems as if you are a very matured guy. I think the age gap is only about no, two, I think three years. Is, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know, there are not many people who are, who can carry conversations forward. Lah. You know, there, this industry I like to tell all my guys is that the industry will give you a thousand reasons to, to doubt yourself. But all you need is for yourself to believe in yourself for you to succeed. And I think having gone through what he's gone through in the footballing career, that's exactly what he needs. If, you're, if I were to relate the soccer career to the real estate career, what are the lessons that you learn in your soccer career that can apply to real estate? I started in 15, so I'm 32 now, it's about 17 years. So if you talk about 17 years, it's a very long, long time. So I would liken it to like a marathon, you know. So, I mean, if you ask me about certain things, what I take away, I would say like, in this career is patience, but of course, honesty, and I think the hunger and desire to succeed. I kind of feel that these, both of my job schools are very, very similar. So, yeah, I'm just, I hope that what I can do in football, I can apply now because, you know, this is a really brand new industry for me, you know, stepping into a new thing. Looking forward to your career, man. <laughs> of course, I'm excited, you know, but, right. but at the same time, you know, afraid, you know, wondering <laughs> what. Well, but I look yeah, forward excited. to be the player of the year in ERA. Of course, oh. of course. <laughs>